In a title deciding match, yeah, against Everton, Arsenal scrape a win. Do you understand? In a title deciding game, Arsenal scrape a win. And it could have been chalked off. In fact, it should have been chalked off because it did look like it hit Jesse's arm, bro. It took till the 86th minute for Arsenal to go in front in a title deciding game. When we heard that West Ham was 3-2 down before it got disallowed, I was at the Tollingtons, bro. And when it when, when we found out that it was disallowed, I was hearing fans, bro, skis, say, well done, Arsenal. We tried to send out. No, we fucking didn't. We lost the league because we couldn't fucking score against Aston Villa. We didn't beat Aston Villa this season. And why is that? Arteta knows, bro. Arteta knows that this was on him. You just look at that league, you lot. Yeah, there's some games like that or whatever. Like the Fulham game, like we were poor. Do you understand? And he made the same mistake he did at Villa Park at Emirates Stadium. Arsenal lost the league, yeah, against... That's how we lost the league. This is how. This is the reason why I'm not pissed drunk. There's a reason why the the, the, oh, the whole of London, the roads of London, are not filled with red because he fucked up. This is on Arteta, and he knows it deep down. I think he knows that. I'm um, see. When I was in Tottenham, I was just looking. I just sometimes our mentality as a fan base is actually horrific. I'm at the Tottenham, and I'm hearing people say things like, "Oh, we gave our all." Oh, uh, um, you know, if it wasn't for my city, we been knowing how my city are. Do you understand? I'm not having this excuse, bro. Like, I hate this excuse of like, I hate this excuse of like, oh, um, it's just my city that overpowered. But we know that. But look at where they are. Two points behind up in front of us. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Like, I don't like this excuse. Like, we we are supposed to win this 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 league. Yeah, I didn't predict us to win this league this season because only because. When I saw our transfer window, I said we didn't buy a striker. Do you get it? Obviously, Havertz has come good, but at the end of the day, he's not a striker, though. Let's be real. Like, he's not a striker like that, of that calibre. Yeah, he's young and everything. But, like, I didn't put Arsenal there, do you get it? Especially with the fact that we did not replace Xhaka. Because let me tell you right now, despite what that stupid dickhead Gary Neville said on his uh, Monday Night Football, Declan Rice is Partey's replacement. But we ain't got a left and a mid. You look at today, yeah... Honestly, and anyone that talks about Saka again should shut the fuck up because we did not have Saka today. And look how dead we look. Look how dead we look. We look so shit. Martinelli at the right hand side ain't it. Because everybody knows he's going to stick it that right foot and he's going to go down the line and just whip him across. And obviously, because we ain't got a good, good centre forward like that, and have and other guard is just shit. It's just nothing, bro. There's nothing coming up from there. You know, you, you we we kind of gotten used to that for the past two years of Arsenal's left hand side being just worse, bro. Do you get? It? But today, because second one and Ben White played really bad today. He I, like honestly, this is a, a title deciding game, you man. No, I don't even understand this. Yeah, a title deciding game, and Everton wanted it more. Are you all right in the head? Did we just already concede that my city are going to win? We had to do our job regardless. Do you understand? And it took until the 86th minute. That should have been chalked off. But you won't hear that in the TL. It should have been chalked off because Jesus handballed it. And I'm hearing fans say, oh, better luck next time. We're part of the boys. This and that. No, no. We know what kind of my city, monster my city are. We're supposed to keep pace. Do you understand? And it's just so disappointing, but and I blame Arteta for this because I look at that game against Aston Villa at home in particular, we lot, and I just think about his lineup and his choices to and that day. And I know deep down he knows he fucked up. I know it. A lot of fans might call up certain players, sit and this and that, but it's the manager who decides it. I made a video. I made a fucking video that day, fam, and I said to you, man, the league is done. I said it right then and there. I said the league is finished. 
Because we know, I've been watching City for the past 10, 11 years. I know how they are, especially with this pet, bro. We know what they were going to do. Regardless of what, regardless of what we did, we knew what we were going to do. So it was our job to make sure we kept pace or be ahead of them. But we lost. And that is on our tether. And I'm not having any other bullshit. We are supposed to be permanent champions this year. We were. We were. But against Aston Villa, we fucked it up. Okay? And I just want to say something about Saka as well. Because I'm not going to lie. Because this is a bit weird to me. I ain't going to lie. And I love the boy. I, tr I truly do. I just, I just spoke highly of, about him. About how much we missed him today. But if you are really injured, yeah, and I'm just seeing your mates, yeah, Foden, they scored two goals, bro. One was an absolute nasty-ass goal, by the way. He just won play of the year, which I don't agree with, obviously, because the fuck is that about that full Foden, you get? And he's there scoring goals for his team, and he's injured. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not... It's not, calib it's not calibrating in my head right now, like... I don't understand if that is a Saka's decision or a Teta's decision to be like, you know what, we've got enough to be Everton, sit out. But even still, like, I would want to. And I think like, Paul Merson said it the other day and, like, ruined them, man, there when we first united in, the, in their punditry. They said, like, look, obviously, you're not 100% every single game, but you want to play. How are you not going to play uh, your last game of the season? That's weird as fuck. I'm sorry, like... You have to have a broken leg because I would expect an academy product from the age six or eight to do anything he can to play in the last game of the season, a title deciding game. I'm sorry, like I just I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not having that. That someone someone has to come out into the press conference and tell me what happened because we could have actually let's say now yeah, Parventure now, West Ham due, yeah, and after didn't get the game, also didn't win the game, and you're thinking about our best player. Our best player. So now, I also, I just want this. I hope this game confirms that I'd make um, Saka is our best player. He is our best player. I heard this this dickhead again, Gavin Neville, said that uh, other girl was player of the season. I'm just like, what the? I just generally don't understand football anymore. I genuinely don't. Because how are you telling me other god? And I think I gave other god man the match as well. Other god was honking, bro. No upper body strength, Boski. Try to do some weird ass passes and just. 50% go, go, uh, go through. It doesn't track back the way people think he tracks back, by the way. What he'd like to do, and if you notice his... If you notice Odegaard, yeah, he does this thing where he puts out a leg, yeah, to act like he's doing something, but he's not doing fuck all. Do you understand? Like, I just... Ben White today, I just... I did not know what was going on with him. I've praised him all through his career at Arsenal, but today, in a title deciding game... Arsenal came up short. And I know we won. I know we won. People might think I'm, I'm writing because we lost. We didn't even lose, but we won. But it's the fact that I saw Everton won it more. Genuinely, that midfield of the Corey Gay and... Um, um, Anana, I think Anana came off afterwards there or something like that. And even Dwight McNeil, bro. You fucking skunk, bro. Like, it's just... Oh. I just... I couldn't believe it today. I genuinely couldn't believe it. This summer's transfer window is the most important. And you know what is so crazy as well, you man? I'm not even going to chat shit right now. Do you know what's so crazy as well that I've just realised in this moment, this second right now? Arsenal have yet again gone a whole season without winning a trophy. I don't care what... And I, you, you guys have to understand, yeah? Listen, I know, I'm, I know that... I am a black woman. Yeah, I get it. Like, we already get hate as it is, as, as, a, as a group of people. But you have to listen to me. I said that the league was done. I said that our season was over against Bayern Munich. You lot don't fucking listen. Like, this meant nothing. It meant nothing. The win against Old Trafford meant nothing. Nothing meant nothing. I'm pissed the fuck off, bro. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. And just, it's just the fact that you just have to go through this all over again. It's just, it's so tiring, bro. It's so tiring. My voice is gone because I was shouting and screaming and telling them I was pissed, bro. The whole time I was just doing this, I was shaking my head because I was just so disappointed. Phil Foden scores within two minutes and Arsenal take all the way to the 86th minute to try and get a winner. Are you fucking mad? And, and, 
I'm done. This summer transfer window is very, very important. Um, the, if the, it, there are three positions Arsenal need to think about this summer. A left back. A left centre midfielder. And a winger. I can I can I can handle Havertz on top because this this the title this title one that he was uh, this one that he was in in this title race I will never forget that this man has put an output in nearly every single game in this one in I will not forget that so there is a player there and I'm and I am willing to give him a chance I I truly am this is his first season and he scored what fourteen goals I will I will give him that. Do you understand? But we need a winger, in particular that left-hand side, because, or whoever can play alternate between left and right, because as much as Trossard has come in clutch this season, you look at him today again. You know, he has these games where you're like, Broski, you're not strong as well. You're not really that skillful like that, and you can't shoot. It's long. We need a world-class, we need like an Alexis Sanchez kind of winger, bro. Imagine when Alexis Sanchez in this team, bro. Sometimes, bro, it really be best player, uh, might play a wrong time in, uh, but obviously Alexis Sanchez is what is in it, like. But we need that caliber of player. We truly, we truly do. Because I can't go through this again. And I'm looking at Olise, bro. Because the Palace just fucking... And I want to say this about Spurs right now. I want to say this about Spurs right now. You see how they're all cockholds, Broskis. If Son had just actually tried to score, because no one can tell me, no one. I heard these man them in Sky Sports try and say, "Oh, you can't say that Tottenham and didn't try." I know what Tottenham looked like when they tried, Broskis. I was there. Do you understand? I've seen it. Don't tell me shit. If Son actually attempted to score a goal that day, yeah, and then they beat, what, they just beat Sheffield United 3-0, Aston Villa just lost 5-0. Mateta scored four goals. You might would have been in the Champions League right now. Shameful. Shameful. And absolutely generational losers. Generational losers. That's what they all are, fam. I saw this dickhead, Jamie O'Hara, wear, wear a fucking Man City shirt and talk, talk sport. I was just looking at this dickhead, fam. I was like, how are you so proud? How are you so proud to lose because we're Arsenal going to win the league? Are you fucking all right? Like, imagine, imagine you know what would have been so funny yeah, if Man City lost this league and Arsenal won it and despite what they did for them? That would be, oh, um, but alas, it didn't happen, in it? it is what it is. But it's just, just dickish, generational losers, shit mentality, bro. I can't wait for Pastor Koglu to go, fam. Because he's, he's clocked it already. You might have a dirty, dirty mentality, bro. Dirty mentality. Oh, yeah, let's stop us to win the league. You're naughty, bro. You're actually nasty. Like, your, your, whole, your whole stadium is nasty. Your badge is nasty. Your kit is nasty. Your captain is nasty. This guy's doing chum chum with Pep Guardiola at the end of the game. Nasty. <sighs> And by the way, can I just say as well, yeah, and I, and I just want to say this as well. How is it that Man City have had 115 charges here in the Premier League, yeah, and no one's done fuck all about it? How has that happened? How? This, this geezer, apparently, from the Premier League, yeah, wants to fucking... We came to the MS Stadium today, so he wouldn't hand over the trophy to City amid their, their, their charges. What kind of ridiculousness is that? He don't want to be the face of the person of the of the of the organization handing a cheat of a club, the Premier League. But you allow them to still win the Premier League, though. Can we can we can we actually comprehend you, man? I just I don't know. I don't know, bro. I I I this team, this whole Premier League. And I don't want to understand this often as well. How is it yeah? How how is it yeah? So let me tell you this. So okay, so so Sky Sports yeah, and I'm going back to Sky Sports again because I actually genuinely think they're in on this as well. They try to act all like they're clean and everything like that. They don't. Have you ever heard my city, uh, my city was um charges being talking about Sky Sports? Have you actually heard them? Have you heard them come into a panel, yeah, and talk about it? The hundred fifteen charges, the pundits after the game. Do you hear them talk about it? No, they don't. They rather stroke throw this bomb, yeah. 
uh, or, 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 or talk about United or talk about some other bullshit or talk about Nottingham Forest's and their referee, blah, 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 and statements rather than talk about 115 charges, you man. Today they covered the City game. They covered the City game. BT Sports covered the Arsenal game. Don't try and tell me that they're not in on this as well. Sky Sports are in on it. Because let me tell you something as well. How is it, yeah? This is how you know they've actually choreographed, cho cho choreographed everything. Choreographed. What? Choreographed. I don't know. This is how they made everything up here. Guys, I can't even talk right now. My head is... It's empty to put it in my head because I am... Oh, boy. How is it, yeah? So, they, obviously, they rearranged the games because I guess my seat were in the FA Cup final, innit? Cool. How is it, yeah, that the game that coincidentally was the one that got rescheduled, got rescheduled to the point where the game in, that was the game in hand a day, a, 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 a match day before the final game of the season? Are you fucking all right? We need to look into this. Because why is it that Man City's game against City and against Tottenham was the second to last game of, the, of their season? That is actually a fuckery. Because you know what that meant, right? It meant that nobody wanted... Look, look, there's a, this called the 12th man for a reason to get it. The fans... Today, like, it, I, I couldn't really hear it like that, but it, it looked really... It sounded really quiet at the Emirates Stadium because I, within two minutes, we were like, bruh. Do you get it? Because, and it, it, it kind of affected the team, the way we played. You see the Spurs game against City, absolutely quiet. Absolutely a fucking library, Borskis. A library. Of course it would be a library, because they don't want Arsenal to win the fucking league. So they don't want to jeer on their players. They don't want to jeer on their team. They would rather get slapped up before they see Arsenal win the Premier League. I want to focus on their own projections and their own. Then how much money they spend on that stadium. Do you know how much money? It's not sustainable without Champions League football, by the way. These people don't think. But I just find it incredibly coincidental that their last game of the season was against Spurs. I find that someone needs to look, that in, look into that because that is a fucking right there, bro. I'm just, it's just so disappointing, you guys. It's really disappointing. And it's just the fact that we just got to do this again and again and again. Like, it's just... Uh, mentally, it's just jarring, bro. It's just not... It's not the way our season's meant to be. It's not. I said our season was done at Aston Villa. No, I said the Premier League was done after Aston Villa. I said our season was done after we, we lost this by a minute. I said that was our season, like because we, we're not we're not we're not doing anything again. I said the championship was only way after we lost against um, Villa. I said the championship was only thing we we're gonna do. We lost against Bayern Munich, and then what happened? Our season's over. Did we did we win a trophy, guys? Did we win a trophy this season? What well, the community showed? Go and fuck yourself. Go and fuck yourself. I heard Conky talk about today. I think it wasn't today, or I don't know. Sometimes I saw on Twitter today. He was like, "Oh, whatever, whatever happens, um, we're like creating something, and we still believe." Et cetera, et cetera. So I'm guessing he's gonna come and bring his purse and bring the bag to get because also need players. You know, I look at Parta today, and I said, like, "This guy is ready to go to Saudi." Did you see how he played today, fam? Oh my days, bro! The decline is horrendous, bro. I could not believe it. I was so shocked that he lasted that long, I'll be real. And most before he came in the bit still. Other guy was shit today. Like we need another we need another older guy. Like not another older guy, but we need a player that can actually create other than Saka because when Saka is not there, I I we did you see how much Odega got exposed today the fact that Saka wasn't there? And Loki Ben White. Ben White is okay because Ben White, that was a one off game. I know how Ben White actually plays, even with or without Saka. He's a great player, but today it went it, Benjamin. But did you see how Odegaard played with Vasaka today? He, lot of, he's, he got exposed, bro. He got exposed. He's not good like that. He really isn't good. He's a great technical player. I don't get me wrong. And he can find passes here and there. But the key phrase in that was here and there. That's not consistency. Today, 
They have the boy in Man City that can just shop um, the Bernardo Silva. We've got Odegaard. It, it's not the same. It really isn't, you guys. I'm sorry. I know he's still young and everything. And, and this is the thing as well. I understand that Arsenal got a young squad. Generally, I don't understand that. I think our average is aged at 26. Like, I understand that. I think that only brings it up by because of Thomas Party and Tosha. But I understand that we have a really young squad. But there are some there are some the thing is, yeah, you guys, when you are when you are actually about it, do you understand? When you're actually yeah, when you're actually him, like when you are about it, age don't fucking matter. Do you understand? You think about the ninety two, the class of ninety two, the one how they how they won the Premier League, how they won um guided them to win the treble. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you, Law? Do you understand? Like it, this is from when they were young, bro. Do you know what class of ninety two is? If you might haven't heard of class ninety two, go and watch it. I think they made a documentary. Go and watch it. Because it's not about age, bro. It really isn't. In football, age don't matter. It really don't. That's why you see people make Premier League debuts at 16 or 17 because it don't fucking matter. When you're him, when you are about it, yeah, when you can stand on your 10 toes and say, yeah, I'm him, age don't fucking matter. And that's the thing I'm worried about. I'm worried about it because as much as we've only lost and drawn one game, um, we lost one and drawn one in the last 16 games, or oh, 17 games now, we know where the fuck ups were in December. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? And uh, but a lot of that was the fact that I genuinely think that Arteta was at fault here. I genuinely the last season I didn't blame Arteta at all. I did not. I, I did not blame him at all. I said I, I think I made actually a post season video, I forget. But I don't know if I did actually now. But I think I did. And I said that I trust this man. Because I didn't think he was at fault for last season's collapse. I genuinely don't. We lost a defender that, who, by the way, played every single game this season. And he's the first person player to ever do that, by the way. Yeah. We missed a player that has been absolutely sensational for the two seasons in a row now. And his backup got injured as well. That is that something you cannot, you, you can't blame the manager for. Do you understand? And saying that, this season, that was on him, because what he did was, and I would, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna forgive him for this. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can forgive him is him winning a Champions League or Premier League or something like that. But what happened was he saw what we did in February, and March when we were emptying out stadiums. He said, "You know what, Bale." He said, "Bale, I'm gonna put Jesus up front. I'm gonna put, um, um." I'm going to put, uh, what's his name? I'm going to take off Jorginho. Yeah. I'm going to take off Kivio. Yeah. And I'm going to put in Shushenko. And I'm going to put on Trussard in the midfield. And I'm going to put Havertz in the midfield, sorry. Like, do you understand? Do you understand? Do you, do you understand? Do you understand? And he left on Odegaard for so long as to take him off and didn't put Vieira with this season. Look, I'm not going to talk too much now because it's done. I was, I'm not going to fucking watch the celebrations. Fuck all that. I'm not going to congratulate them because they're cheats. And I haven't even seen the handball that West Ham apparently they had. So, I don't care. What I'm going to take away from this is that Julian Timber next season will be there for him because when he came on, I said, okay. I said, okay. Because the dynamism, the dynamism he brought into this team when he came on, I said, that's what we're missing at the game sometimes. Sometimes we're missing that kind of dynamism. Someone that just zip, 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 boom. Do you understand? That is just doing cutbacks. They're doing, doing some stopovers. Do, he has skills like that. That Ben White ain't got like that. I'll be real. Even Shushenko as well. So that's what I'm going to take away from that. I thought Smith came on and did well. Um, 
and obviously Havertz got his goal, and I'm really happy for Havertz, man. That like, honestly, like honestly, Havertz, like you're lucky keep it coming, bro. Like this title running that you did for us would never be forgotten. And then this man that was saying that you went up for it, all these Chelsea dickheads that said that you went up for it, that you were shit, red tear tear. All the Arsenal fans that were still calling you shit in the beginning, red tear tear, can go suck a fat. Juicy one, do you understand? Because what you have done in this past three months will never be forgotten. Absolutely not. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I've done my ranting. I'm pissed the fuck off, but who gives a fuck? We lost the league in it. We we'll go again next season. It's what it is, man. I'm just gonna watch the Euros, watch Love Island. I don't know which one comes first. And then, and then yeah, bro. We we'll go again next season. I'm really intrigued to see what our transfer window will be. I'm hearing names like Kato can play apparently left centre back and left back. I'm hearing Gimaresh and I'm hearing, I might hear it Olisa, which is mm, pissed me off. I'm hearing Isaac, that's pissed me off. If any, if you're going to get a shocker from the Premier League right now, you get Ollie Watkins, you understand? How Ollie Watkins didn't win play of the year? Sometimes you know what this this big six bias is actually crazy. How can someone how can someone have nineteen goals this season and eleven assists and not win Player of the Year? I'll see you guys in a minute. Take care, please. Subscribe.